What's going on, everyone? We have a user here to talk about today. This was loaned in from my good friend Rob over at the Random Rob channel, watch channel. You guys have heard me talk about him before, so I won't go into details, but there will be a link down below so you can go check him out. Now, this is a Benchmade that looks like a Spyderco. <laughs> uh, and I believe this is something that he like found on a job site or something like that. I'm not you know, exactly sure, but that doesn't really matter. And this is an older Benchmade. This is the Pika, I believe. Um, generally, on the Pikas that I looked up, the scales were a little bit different with the round hole, or they had some with an oval thumb hole that had this scale. So I'm not exactly sure, but it was a very cool user knife that I wanted to talk about. And it really reminded me a lot of the Spyderco Endura that I had, which was very similar in the partially serrated blade, which I think this is a great way to go. Back when I first got into uh, knives, I had the Spyderco police model. I've talked about that many times. Um, and it was fully serrated because back then, late 80s, Full serrated was the thing, right? I don't know why. Now that I've learned and grown and know more, uh, fully serrated is not my go-to. And really, even partial serrated is not necessarily my go-to. But the partially serrated blades have a great use and a great use case, if you will. And you can see this one is pretty kind of beat up and used, which is awesome. Love to see you know, knives in this range and this type of knife, you can even see the tip there is a little bit uh, chipped off. I like to see these knives used. This was kind of what my Enduro looked like. It was beat up. Some of the teeth here were kind of ground down because I'd cut so much cardboard and wire. And, you know, I used it for everything back then. So this has got its fair share of use also does have reversible pocket clip not left or right handed but tip up and tip down but this is what a knife a good user knife should look like in my opinion because we should use our knives and i just talked about that in a video as picking the right tool for the right job and uh that was yesterday's video the day that you're watching this so not nah, I'm a little behind, right? I normally have about five to 10 videos banked up, but well, I got lazy, I guess, or I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm behind. So I'm filming this today and it'll show up tomorrow, but let's go through the specs on this thing because it's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, to me, it's really just a bench made version of the Enduro with a little bit different blade shape and a little bit different ergonomics, but that's what what interested me when Rob sent me a picture of a bunch of his knives and said, which ones would you like to check out? So I've already done the couple other Spyderco. I did a Spyderco automatic and a Spyderco chaparral with wood uh, scales. And then this one, those were the three I picked out of his collection that I was interested in checking out. So three and seven eighths closed, eight and three sixteenths overall, 3.4 inch blade length with a 1.66 straight edge and an overall edge of 3.06. Okay, ATS 34 blade steel. Blade thickness is 0.115. Overall thickness of 0.446. And this thing weighs in at just two and a half ounces. Like, really? It disappears in your pocket and or if you were to put this in like a tool bag or a toolbox, it's going to add no weight, but it's going to perform fabulously. So I, I really do like this. The jimping up on top is fantastic. You have a very secure grip and a little bit of a curvature here so you can choke up and get a little bit more detail work in there. So all in all, while it is a, you know, it's got a little bit of blade play but a lot of that is just in the scale material is a lock back. You know, I don't know. It's a great beater knife. 
Like it's just a cool beater knife. So let's give you a couple of size comparisons here next to, how about the Spyderco Delica? I no longer have the Endura, um, but you get the idea, right? The Endura is a little bit longer. So it's probably about that size I'm gonna give or, ta give or take. So I think it's done really well for what it is. And, you know, these were not super expensive back in the day. Here it is with the uh, Sharpie and number two pencil. These were like 35, 45 bucks. I mean, it's a great budget knife. Here, Speaking of budget knives and kind of a user knife of mine is the Kubi KB237, which I kind of like a little bit better than the Benchmade just because it is a flipper and not a lockback. And it is a little bit thicker, so it does give you a little bit more grip in the hand. But really, this is bench made with its partial serrations is awesome. Um, and since we're on the black, black and black mode, how about the Hellraiser P series with its carbon fiber and PVD blade? I don't know, guys. Just a quick look at a older bench made that is a total user. So what is your user knife of the day? Or what do you typically, what, which knife do you have that is your beater knife like this? For me, it would be realistically the Kubi or the Tucson that I talked about in the uh, video yesterday about which the right tool for the right job. Those are probably my two like real beater use it around the house type knives, right? Um, you know, my other beater one is, you know, kind of a, is the Frank Fisher Archangel. I got it used. It already had some scratches in it, so I used the heck out of it. But really, it's going to be the uh, Kubi or the Tucson that I used in the video yesterday. So let me know what is your beater knife. Uh, I would love to hear. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.